Well, there's a reason why more people choose Red River Ford and Durant. Come by and find out for yourself. 30 to 23, the victory as Southeastern takes game number one of the 2011 season against a rival who you have owned in the last decade. Nine out of ten from UCO. How does it feel, Coach? I'll tell you what, it, it, it's always great. I love beating UCO. We've been extremely fortunate to beat them. Uh, it's almost always a close game, and we've just been very blessed to beat them on a regular basis, and it's it's great for them. Jamal Evans goes for 182. He doesn't even play much in the second half. And C.J. Kirk, 12 carries, 41 yards. We know what we had in Jamal Evans from a year ago. He's become better. Yes, Did you know what you had in C.J. Kirk? Well, we... We didn't know, we knew he was a good player, he wouldn't be in there. But you know, until a guy gets in a game and he gets to play, you don't really know what you got until he does it under fire. And he, uh, he really did well, you know, that one play where uh, I think O'Sully here, they called a penalty on him We go for a long, uh, long game, but it was, uh, I was real proud of those guys. He'll run for that one later. We'll talk yeah. to Sullivan here in just a second. Logan Turner seemed like he was much more composed in his first game in 2011 as opposed to a year ago? Well, you know, he should be. This is his 12th game as a starter. Uh, he should do nothing but get better. And, uh, you know, I thought he had a pretty good game. He threw a couple of balls there that were a little questionable. But all in all, I thought he had a good first game, and uh, I'm looking forward to him having a great year. And now let's talk about your defense for just a moment. You uh, bring in, well, I shouldn't say bring in, but Johnny Seals is back from an injury. But you do bring in a strong safety, Houston Slim. Izzy as a core moves over to a linebacker position. What do you think about your defense through one game? Well, I, I was pleased, you know. You know, obviously, I, I thought we could do better than 23 points, but we had guys in position. They hit a couple of big plays, and, and uh, we missed a tackle on uh, Birmingham, and uh, he took it to the house. And uh, seems like we also we got beat deep one time. Uh, we gave up two big plays, so if we can eliminate those, I think we got a chance to really be pretty good on defense. This will make you feel better. We had on Alex Moore at halftime. And uh, his comments about Birmingham, he said, well, all I can say is I saw the back of his jersey a lot. <laughs> Birmingham's a very good player. Yes, and, and, you know, I, like you said, outside of a couple of plays, you pretty well held him in check. So congratulations on that. Well, those guys, are, you know, our players did a great job. And, uh, you know, we're I, I'm real proud of our kids. They played hard. They played together. Uh, they were disciplined. You know, we, we had guys fitting where they needed to be fitting. Uh, if you notice, we really didn't blitz them. Uh, we were playing zone and zone blitzing, and, you know, that's a nice thing to not have to do. Uh, you know, that's usually a last resort. Uh, we didn't have to do that. How about Russell Hurst? When he makes a hit, he lets everybody know about it. He, he does. He's, he packs the ball. Durant and uh, Ryan, I want to ask you first off, now I know you're one of the guys that is out there every play, but this year, different than last year, where you've got some backups that can come in and play. How much does that help your line? Uh, yes, sir. That definitely helps out having a lot of depth. Uh, and the good thing about it is those backups that we have, especially on the offensive line, play just as well as the first string. So whenever you have that kind of depth and you can switch it and out and keep guys fresh, we can always, uh, you know, we won't be winded, won't be tired. Uh, have a lot of guys that we really just step up and come in and do a great job. I have to tell you, we did have one laugh at your expense when Sam Moses barreled you over on that uh, you did your job. You stayed put and didn't move, so good job there. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, what did you learn uh, moving over to a new position at center? With uh, Did you talk to Sean Taglia-Taylor or any of those guys? What have you had to do to adjust? Uh, well, of course, you know, I uh, I had to do a lot of talking to Sean. Uh, me and him are still best friends. I still talk to him on the phone every day. Uh, I even spent 45 minutes on the phone with him last night talking about how we have a uh, we're running against a 3-3 stack and I'm going to have that nose guard right in front of me every play and attack me as soon as I snap that ball. Uh, so really he's helped me out tremendously and uh, Coach Beard has really done a great job helping me feel comfortable making that. Last question for you Ryan, what does it mean to be uh, in your senior year and in your hometown and picking up a big win over UCO, I imagine it's just kind of a little bit secondary, but just to be here in front of your home crowd and you know the people are out there cheering for you. Oh, there's no better feeling. Uh, I've never, I've never been so proud uh, starting out this season 1-0, and 
I've never been more proud of my teammates. I mean, tonight, I think, was a real statement. We can go out there and win every ball game. Uh, it's just been a great feeling. Man, uh, Joey, between Alex Moore and Ryan Sullivan, you might be out of a job before it's all said <laughs> and done. Uh, Thanks a lot, Ryan. We'll all take right. a break. And be